so I'm not a professional installer and we haven't made very many videos that feature much about our battery system and our Victron Multi Plus solar panels, etc. Because I'm a little leery of people perhaps copying one of my mistakes. Well, just look at this thing. It's totally roasted. It's been disconnected for probably 10 minutes and the posts are still too hot to touch. Nice burn mark there. Fat sides. It's starting to melt back to the cabinet that it was mounted to. Hoping I just caught this thing in time. We replaced the original electrical infrastructure in our Airstream with some lithium batteries. We've got two 200 amp hour lithium batteries here and some Victron gear. This is a solar controller. So half this installation is here. The other half is in my closet. In my closet, we've got a Victron Multi Plus unit. That replaced the original Airstream converter. So that takes the shore power in, it either passes it through to the outlets or it uses it to make 12 volt power to charge these batteries. It can also um, do things like make up power for only on a 15 amp connection. It can actually take the 15 amps plus more from the batteries and make up more power to say 20 amps, some from the battery, some from shore power if you're on limited shore power. So it's actually a pretty interesting unit. It's it's pretty complex. Um, Victron stuff, arguably some of the best stuff available, but it's also not very cheap. Now we've taken a year or so to buy the components as we can afford them and, and put this together. And I haven't really done a video explaining my installation and in part out of a bit of a reluctance to, to demonstrate how this is done and maybe make some errors. And I did figure out that I had a pretty significant error. I had run the battery protection unit uh, wiring a little bit wrong and it lasted nearly a year, but it, it did cook itself pretty bad. Today, what I'm gonna do is get my battery protection unit wired correctly and I'm gonna clean up a couple of the connections here. There's a couple connections here that are done incorrectly. And also this is just kind of ugly and messy because I kept sort of add a piece, do a thing, add a piece, do a thing. And I could design it a little better. So I've got shorter wire runs and everything is neater. So we've got the Victron Multi Plus unit here um, secured to the back wall. All the wiring actually runs nicely along the top of the wheel well and then up into it here from the batteries over on that side. And then this was the original converter location kind of here and behind here. Um, it's been removed because it's been replaced by the Victron unit, but we've retained the house current breakers and the 12 volt fuses and connection points. These batteries are now disconnected from the system. And the first thing I'm gonna do, um, since these have been used for about a year now, is just make sure they're charging to the same voltages. And looking at the first one, I'm seeing 13.38. And the second one is at 13.3738, yep, they're just about exactly the same, that's great. I believe I've isolated what caused the battery protect unit to fail um, and what my error was in wiring it. I should have power flowing from the batteries, 12 volt power flows in here and then it flows out and to power the 12 volt fuse panel and that's where all your lights and such inside the coach come from, powers to pump, etc. Now, I had it wired to the Victron unit, which would mean that power would flow in the correct direction, but it would also charge back through this unit. And I believe charging back through this unit is what caused it to fail, pushing power the wrong way to the batteries. To fix this, I'm going to add a wire to the system a uh, big heavy two watt cable, which will feed power from the batteries over here and into the newly wired unit. My mistake was not understanding that current can only flow in one direction through the battery protect unit. So now my solution is to make sure that I have power running from the pedestal outside into the multi plus unit. The multi plus unit charges the batteries over there. Then I've added a wire that comes back and it's going to go through the battery protect in the proper direction so current only flows from the batteries through this new wire and into 
the fuse panel. I make my own custom length cables because it's more affordable once you've got the equipment. When you have to turn off the power, it's pretty handy to have the jackery. So I'm gonna use that now. I've made all the wire connections and tightened everything up. I now have the MultiPlus back on and running to make sure everything is running okay. Um, I didn't have any issues when I fired it up, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'd like to mention one more modification I've made here. I've added two fans that will add air circulation for the MultiPlus so that it can cool down on a hot day. Tested them and they work. The final connection point is up in the corner of the MultiPlus. There is a place to put these where you can program it to tell the fans to come on down here when its own internal fan comes on. And I've got to finish the programming on that. That'll be the last step. This is the cleaned up, tidied up version. Uh, I've made some improvements here in terms of how things were wired, how they were connected. I've also got our Bluetooth monitoring stuff attached on the back wall there now, and it's better. I'm definitely not a professional installer, and we haven't made very many videos that feature our batteries and Victron MultiPlus system, in part because I don't want to demonstrate anything that anybody might copy and potentially have a problem. Um, insofar as the mistake that I made, I'm lucky we caught it when we did. Um, It'd been okay for a year, but at a certain point, something triggered it, and it got very, very hot, and it could have started a fire. And that was unfortunate, but it was an important learning lesson for me. Um, and I think I've made some improvements here to make sure that I don't have any further issues that could lead to a similar problem.